Hello guys. So summer is here again and uh, it's time for a uh, new air conditioning uh, uh, ventilation cleaning. For this I will use uh, the uh, two products like uh, last year. Uh, I will start by uh, cleaning the uh, ventilations with this uh, active foam from uh, CRC, the Airco Cleaner Pro, which I managed to get at a very good price. Um, it's in uh, this um, half a liter container and it's uh, very efficient and um, in the end I will also uh, refresh the inside of the car with this uh, perfect Klima uh, diffuser by uh, Caramba uh, which is uh, very good. These uh, two products work uh, really really well when uh, combining them. Um, also, um, because my car uh, hasn't reached the uh, 10,000 kilometers mark yet, um, I will just uh, quick uh, clean the uh, air sensor um, with the uh, air sensor clean pro from uh, CRC. The uh, air filters and the oil change will have to wait a bit more. So first, uh, using the um, CRC uh, Foam Airco Cleaner Pro, uh, you need to uh, open all of your uh, car's uh, windows. This product is um, really good, but uh, it also uh, smells um, very very um, harsh so you need to, to have a very good ventilation open all the uh, cars windows make sure you have the uh, air conditioning uh, setting uh, off of the uh, recirculation, so it uh, um, it communicates with the outside. Open all the uh, air vents. For this stage you do not need to uh, have the uh, engine turned on or anything, so make sure everything is turned off. Take the product and uh, insert the uh, small uh, straw uh, inside. It's not so easy to do it with one hand, but I will try my best. What I like to do, um, so I won't uh, make a mess with the foam, is to take off this cap first and uh, insert it separately, so I don't accidentally press on it when I insert this and the, the foam will not uh, pop out before I need it to. Also try to um, straighten it as, uh, as much as possible. So it has a, a nice straight shape. Take the uh, container and shake it very well. And uh, insert very... Um, by pressing just a bit. 
on uh, on it so it uh, stays in place like that because once you'll press it the uh, content will uh, will uh, pop out let's see if I can do it like this there we go when it's all uh, all the way uh, in press it just a bit like that and uh, slowly um, pull it towards you press again and the same thing until you see the uh, foam coming out That's just about it. It's perfect. That's it, like this, the most. And uh, now do the same thing for all the uh, air vents. Insert the hose all the way in. And again release the active foam by uh, pulling it towards you. You'll see the foam will come right up. and that is when you'll stop just like this Very nice. Don't worry about the uh, excess. You can uh, you can wipe it off uh, very easily. Now let's move to the uh, one from the passenger side. Insert the straw all the way in. Shake a bit more the uh, the container. And the foam should come right up. You can see it has uh, dirt on it. So it really does its job. Mm -hmm. 
there you can see a few dirt uh, spots. Uh, do the same for the uh, windshield um, air vent. Let's see. First, we'll start on the left. Try to insert the hose as much as you can and release the front. Like so. That's enough. <laughs> you can leave it like that, no problem, it will uh, turn into uh, a, a watery uh, substance and uh, it will clean itself. As long as it doesn't uh, drop on the sides it's perfectly okay where it is to the next vent Press it and pull the straw at the same time. And you see the foam comes up. That should be enough. Okay. So here. Let's see if I can. That's about it. In the hand it should look something like this. You see here it already turns into liquid and uh, here it uh, drops it pours from above just don't worry it's perfectly okay here also I will let uh, the camera film how uh, the foam uh, decreases and turns into uh, water, a water-like substance. You can also hear it in action. It's really very good for uh, for your car. So if you haven't done this uh, in uh, the past years, uh, you should uh, really do it. Uh, some recommend doing this like uh, once every six months. I do it yearly and uh, it works really, really fine.
so you can see only on this side there is uh, foam left here it starts to disappear and again here it pours but it's perfectly okay you can use the same tissue to to wipe it off this is a bit uh, trickier so inside the the straw as much as you can and then attach it to the uh, container Pull the uh, the straw. That's about it. And now let's move to the one from the right side. And do the same thing again. That's enough. Okay. So now we'll have to wait about uh, 10 minutes for the uh, foam to do its uh, job. Then we will start the uh, air conditioning and set it on the uh, warmest uh, temperature and um, on the uh, max speed on uh, trying as best as uh, we can to uh, ventilate all the uh, air vents
by this time um, the foam from uh, the um, front air vents uh, are already clean uh, now uh, I will just have to wait a bit for the ones in uh, the foot area since I will uh, work the uh, air conditioning uh, in order to use the uh, perfect Klima diffuser um, after about five minutes or so you can see all the uh, ventilations are basically uh, cleaned and uh, maybe some uh, foam left inside but it's no problem uh, that will be uh, cleaned once I will uh, start the uh, air conditioning uh, system for this uh, diffuser now we need to uh, turn the air conditioning on the uh, recirculation set it on the uh, lowest um, temperature possible and um, also uh, we will need to uh, remove uh, the uh, cabin air filter if you will leave your um, um, cabin air filter inside it will uh, basically absorb uh, and attract all the uh, uh, perfect Klima um, container. You see, it's not the cleanest, but I only have done like 6,000 kilometers with it, so it can wait another 4,000 kilometers. To, to be changed. I will uh, put it outside while the uh, diffuser works. So. And uh, really, it's no issue if you leave this uh, uh, this hole uh, open; it will clean it even uh, even better. Okay, so I will do this from the passenger side. This time around, we need to. Um, close all the windows so make sure everything is nice and closed and the doors are shut and uh, yeah, I will have to uh, turn the engine on. Let's see. shake the uh, container as well release the uh, cap and you know I like it to uh, to place it in the foot area of the uh, uh, passenger's side in front because it's really uh, perfect there don't put it right here because it will uh, touch the uh, glove box area and the plastic uh, just put it like so so the uh, diffuser will release all the content upwards 
right here and uh, after that it will be uh, uh, pulled by the uh, air conditioning uh, uh, vents. The whole process will take about three minutes to about three minutes to, to complete and after it is uh, all empty leave it like so for at least 10 minutes more 10 to 12 minutes you should uh, leave uh, the uh, air conditioning on on uh, any setting you like here as I told you I like it on the windshield um, on the max um, uh, power setting but on the lowest temperature and it's mandatory to uh, have it on recirculation so it doesn't take out the uh, uh, the uh, perfect clima uh, also please uh, do not enter the uh, car in all the uh, time uh, it needs to complete in the three minutes it needs to be um, consumed and uh, in the other 12 minutes uh, that it will do its uh, its cleaning so you'll have to wait for about a quarter of an, uh, an hour 15 minutes let's give it a go so before you press down uh, when you will press down this uh, uh, diffuser it will lock lock itself and uh, it won't stop until it will not uh, be um, empty so f before you do that, s start the air conditioning to its max, in my case 4, and with these settings press it and get out of the car. You can see it there. It has a really uh, a great smell to it after the uh, the winter time when the uh, air conditioning wasn't used so much. Uh, I can say I started to to smell uh, that a bit strange odor, and uh, this uh, this way this. Uh, um, refreshing um, of the inside of the car it's uh, a really nice nice touch in this uh, in this moment also my uh, recommendation towards all of you do this uh, by yourself don't go to a uh, a local uh, car shop uh, not even to the uh, local dealer where you bought the car because uh, they will charge you at least three times more than uh, you would pay if you would do it uh, all by yourself and trust me they don't do anything more than this maybe they don't even uh, use the uh, the active foam cleaner they just put this diffuser that costs about three US bucks and uh, you, you sense it afterwards and think that they've done, I don't know, uh, something very uh, complex but it's not the, the point. So you can see now the, um, all the uh, perfect clima 
diffuser is empty, do not enter the car for another 12 minutes. So you'll have to give it time because right now uh, the, uh, the whole um, inside of the car is filled with the uh, particles from the uh, diffuser and it, they really need to work their way uh, inside the car to, uh, to have a uh, proper cleaning. If you enter the car right now, it will smell very harsh, it will not be good for your health, and uh, you'll also uh, release, uh, release the content from inside of the car, and uh, basically you'll waste the money. So, I'll see you in another uh, 12 minutes. While I wait, I will uh, show you where I am right now. This is uh, the uh, base uh, where on of the road where I do all my uh, halogen tests. Is the uh, road that um, takes you from Brasov to Poyana Brasov, and um, as you can see, it's. Uh, a very intensive traffic here it wasn't like that uh, before even in this parking lot right here you can see right now there are um, five cars parked uh, including mine and uh, just to give you a comparison last year when I uh, did this I was the only one part here uh, it was the same time about about the same period of uh, uh, date but uh, the same hour and uh, this is the result of uh, allowing to uh, register uh, second-hand uh, German cars in, uh, in my country. It's become over and over uh, populated with, uh, with cars. But even so, uh, guys uh, in Brasov right now, the uh, um, this state, um, the, the way things are here on the road, it's still very, very good. I had to do a trip to Bucharest last week and uh, my god, that place is, uh, is really packed. You can imagine, I'm not exaggerating right now, I was in the, uh, the center in uh, Union Square in Bucharest on a uh, um, secondary street but the um, distance I had to make was from where, like, where I'm standing right now until right there where you see that uh, a dangerous uh, curve sign. So let's say about, I don't know, 200 meters about uh, this, uh, this distance. Maybe not even 20, uh, 200 meters were in Bucharest, like one, 100 or so. I had to stay in traffic for 30 minutes to drive for that distance. It was uh, really uh, 
a new one for me, something unbearable. I don't know how those... Uh, uh, the ones who live there can, uh, can take it like that. Each day. So, compared to, to Bucharest, here it's, uh, it's really paradise on earth. This makes a uh, really uh, delicious uh, homemade juice. Okay, so... I will wait for, let's say, another five minutes or so. The uh, inside of the car, it's already starting to clear out. And that is the sign that uh, the uh, perfect clima content um, is, uh, is out of the way. And it, uh, you can smell it very nice uh, even uh, here from outside, although uh, I have the recirculation on. When uh, everything is complete and you enter the car, you can uh, still uh, keep, uh, you can um, uh, put down the uh, windows again, so you don't stay in that, uh, in that very um, powerful uh, uh, perfumed uh, smell when you, when you drive, because you will uh, surely uh, sense it. Also down there it's, let's say, a, a peaceful um, and quiet oasis of uh, a green uh, area called uh, Livada Poshtei. Um, in translation I think it's like the um, postal office uh, orchard something like that if I translated uh, it incorrectly please accept my apologies yeah and it's a very a very nice place but the the traffic is uh, perceivable there as well thirty seconds to go So after that I will uh, stop the engine and uh, insert back the cabin air filter and wait for its uh, replacement with the new one, the uh, MAL original filter. This one, I think it was a MAN filter. Yep. But at uh, the recommendations of um, one of my subscribers, uh, one of my very dear subscribers, uh, I uh, went for the MAL original ones for the uh, next filter changes. Okay, let's see how it is. Okay, let's turn it down a bit. The first impression is a uh, very powerful um, alcohol-like 
smell. It's it's really powerful, so you you really need to take down the windows. So it lets the fresh air from outside the back in. Personally, I like to keep the um, air vents uh, this way, um, directed uh, down as uh, low as possible, because if I will keep them like this, which they normally uh, stood, I would get incredibly uh, incredible headaches, because it will hit me right in the head. So that's why uh, I keep them all like this. And also the one from the passenger side uh, uh, go um, and take the airflow towards the uh, windows on that side. Even if they hit the plastic air panels, the plastic panels of the doors right here, like this, it's not good because they <laughs> again uh, are too high. Also for the um, uh, my regular settings, usually on winter I leave, I leave the uh, half 50% for the foot and 50%. Uh, towards me um, and uh, now in the uh, summer time again if it's very hot outside I would uh, put it on 2 the speed I would set it like at 12 o'clock in the middle and uh, leave it on the same settings if it uh, is too too hard um, from the front I put it like 75% on the foot area and 25 here up okay so hope I uh, I helped you with this video uh, this is uh, the third time I, uh, I do this uh, procedure but uh, the first uh, two times I didn't uh, manage to, to record it because as uh, you can see in this video as well, it's not so easy to um, clean it with one hand and record it with uh, the other in a good way. But hope um, I, uh, I managed to, to help you. These two products are really cheap and really effective. The Caramba Perfect Clima and the uh, CRC Airco Cleaner Pro. In a pair, they do really uh, make wonders for your uh, for your car. After this, uh, I will uh, clean the uh, air sensor, hoping for even better idle uh, revs than now. If you would like to buy these products or uh, any other products I reviewed in my past videos like uh, the um, Halogen uh, from Philips, Osram, uh, Bosch um, and uh, the other Ring Xenon, uh, please consider uh, using the uh, Amazon links uh, that you can find in all the uh, descriptions of all of my videos uh, you will help me in a lot uh, in, a, in a big way and uh, it will not cost you anything uh, extra and I will be able to bring as uh, uh, much uh, more possible videos uh, like this uh, ones too. As always thank you for watching and I wish you a perfect day with a perfect klima wherever you are. Take care guys.